Time for another mailbag. What's in here? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. First time you're here, subscribe. Very important. Must subscribe. If you want to see my mailbag videos in the future? And if you haven't seen my main channel, go and check that out too. There'll be links down below in the well. Yeah, it's down below as well. Actually, in the description, there's got links down there. Okay. Well, it looks like it's here. Hmm. So half the packaging is missing, but I guess they did that to reduce cost on postage. Some bits which aren't in here, which are extensions, which I thought I got with it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. So this thing is basically a weed killer. It's on. How does this thing work? Is it on? I don't know how safe this is because, well, it's um, a Chinese weed killer. No instructions. So you're supposed to put a gas cinder on here of some kind. I don't know what kind or how. I'm going to have to figure that out. Looks like it's got a plastic locking system which really instills me confidence. So you have a gas bottle on here, a little mini gas bottle, a little canister. And then obviously you light it here and it puts a flame out and use that to kill weeds. That's the plan. My wife wanted one and she gets on nagging me for one so I bought her one. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good. No safety usage warnings or anything. You could blow yourself up with this. Hmm. It's a PCB ruler, because you always want PCB rulers. I wish you got one up here somewhere already, which I got from PCB Way. But sometimes you want different rulers because you've got different footprints on them in some cases. Well, this one's got some similarities. But sometimes there's different footprints which aren't necessarily available. So sometimes it's just good to have as a reference point, you know. If you want to make something. Nothing seek, nothing find. Okay. Obviously something lost in translation there. So it's got a whole bunch of different footprints on here. There's a TQFP over here. SOP20 over here. Wide and narrow. Uh, SOP28. SOP1614. And eight, all marked on here. You'll probably be able to see it better than I can. There you go. It's always nice having different types. And that's what's on the other side. A few links for these, I suppose. I've got some other ones as well. I think I purchased about three, three different ones because they had a variety of different footprints on them. I thought it would just be a handy little reference thing to have when I'm trying to design things. I could then reference the footprint dimensions a bit more easily in a physical plane rather than on a data sheet or something, you know. Never quite know. Sometimes it's hard to guess these things. Make sure you keep watching towards the end because it helps the channel quite a bit if you keep watching. Improves the stats and helps YouTube realise that people like the channel. Also, you don't know what you're going to miss if you skip to the end. Oh, there you go. Some final cables. So these I actually purchased off eBay. So there's a 1167 hyphen 36. These are 36 inch um, shielded banana jack, dual banana jack, as you can see. All right. I've already got some very similar. It's got some, I think they're 48s. So it's very same, well, very similar series. But I need a few more cables, and I found a 48 is a bit long in some circumstances. So I thought I'd get some slightly shorter ones. It just means potential, a bit less noise in the system, that sort of stuff, as well. When I'm doing calibration type stuff with my gear here. So 1000 volts DC max, so handheld use 30 volts AC max or 60 volts DC max in handheld use, which is interesting. I'm not sure what its definition because it's insulation resistance to the outer, maybe on the plugs themselves, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, some more nice Pomona cables. These are fairly expensive things to get, they're off eBay. Um, I might chuck a search link in down below for that, actually, so you can go and do a search for them, but they're not cheap. Got those two big boxes at the end here too. I'll find out what's in those. I think I know what's in there, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, right. Okay. These are waterproof membrane, well, stickers, membranes. So 6s and 6. So these are for the iPhones. So you put these around the screens or on the, on the frame of the phone to help waterproof them when you replace the screen. So once you finish your work, you can. Put the seal on, helps this waterproof it, make it a bit more, well, a bit more waterproof, it doesn't 
to make it waterproof obviously but reduce the chance of water ingress or liquid ingress I should say so a bit links things down below they're pretty cheap to get because all you actually want is that little bit around the outside that black line that's the bit which is there this is just a holder so you can actually apply it so you peel one side off put it onto the phone and obviously push it down and get it seated and then peel the other side off and you're done anyway yeah I don't need some more of these so got some right this I think feels like clothing it is it's another shirt another bit of merch shirt I'm wearing one right now actually you probably can't see it from the angle yeah oh yeah this is change angles to show my shirt now you may have seen this one I'm here because you broke something this one of my newer shirts so let's see what this one is it's always a capacitor here we go it's always a capacitor because it is always a capacitor that's like the story of my life when I'm doing repairs it's always a capacitor so I thought I'd do a shirt about that because why not in my merch store anyway if you're interested if you're interested I've got it for me really here we go that feels more normal here we go next Seriously, junk. So I've got one of these wheelie things. This is from Super Cheap Auto. They're giving away these wheel things. Like, why? Some kid's toy thing. It's just complete waste of resources and like. Seriously, just all this. Just want to chuck down the bin because it's just pointless. I bet there's another one out of the box too. Because that's also from Super Cheap Auto, I'm sure. Anyway, what did I buy? It's a filter. And it's an air filter, as you can see. This is just for my motorhome. It's an A340. You can just about see it there. It's nothing too exciting, nothing electronics related. This is for my motorhome because it's due for service. And I haven't replaced the filter for about three years. Because it's designed to actually be cleaned you can knock them out and get the, no knock the dust out and that sort of stuff but I think well I was due for you know I should really replace it now three years that's definitely long enough so new filter nothing too exciting so do you want to take any bets about what's in this box because it's from the same company come on any bets do you want to open the box to say so in the comments You're running out of time what is it it's in paper packaging no it's some metal plates fake rust metal plates okay I don't understand why they're giving these away but uh, I suppose people want to have these sorts of things in their garages so I'm sure I might find some other use for them yes anyway okay I'm not really a petrol head so it doesn't really matter to me oil filters Two oil filters. So these are also for motorhome. Um, so I've got one for now, one for later on. So I've got one for next time. It's the most cheap for service. Save me from buying twice. So Z334. I've got any other numbers, I'm not sure. Might do. But yeah. Make sure to subscribe if you like any of the stuff I've got. Check the links out down below for anything which is relevant. Probably not this stuff because you know that's not really. I'll just push this. Through. Pretend that's not there. Here we go, this stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you liked it. You know, usual stuff. I'll try to tell you every time. Check it out.